Hey y'all. All right. Welcome back to the channel. And we're out here in the garage again. And uh, I'm done porting his head. Thought I'd give you a little update on this. So. Not the prettiest job, I will admit, but I think it's definitely going to get the job done. I think it's definitely going to get the job done. Now, one thing I want to talk about real quick is breaking through. It is a fear. When you're porting, you're like, oh God, how far can I go? And you can see right in there, I went just a little too far right there. Yeah. And right here too. Yep. Everybody makes mistakes. You look down here. Let's see. You see that little divot sticking out there? That's, that's what happened there. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I went a little too far and I paid the price. It, it broke through. But what I did was, is I got some two-part epoxy, JB Weld, mixed it up with some of the metal that I've uh, ground out of here, out, out of this head. And, oh yeah, here's some of it right here so I just collected some of it put it in that little package right there and uh, there we go I'm just gonna hang on to it and uh, what I did was I mixed it up with the JB weld and uh, here it is I think it's gonna work out pretty nicely you give me your thoughts on it though what do you think you know um, I'm pretty happy with this so, I mean, before this would not fit down in the intake. Now it fits down in there just fine. Okay, so, and let's see. Here's the other head that's going to get ported, wrapped up like a mummy. So, I'll tell you what, let me grab this one and do a comparison between this one and that one real quick. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, um, here's the other head right here. Now, this socket, I'm using these as like my templates. This socket is a one and one sixteenth. As I showed you already, it fits just fine in here. Okay. So, you can see it fits pretty good in there. Does it fit in here? just barely i mean you can see that line right there that's made on the socket okay so let's go back over here can you see? nope 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 okay so all right now let's see what about intake what do we got for intake okay this socket here is a 15 16th and as you can see it will not go into the intake so exhaust i'm sorry exhaust intake okay. here you go see goes right down in there goes into that one goes into that one goes into that one okay so i'd say that's a big improvement right there Nice improvement. So now, got to start on this one next. Uh, I probably will do a little chamber work in here, but not very much. I'm probably just going to take off the very sharp edges, like right here, you know, just to make sure that we're not maybe go around this edge here. Reason I want to take off the sharp edge is I want to get that off because I want to make sure I'm just probably going to use that 
I'm not even going to use the die grinder. I'm probably just going to use this guy right here. Because this right here, that fella, that fella right there will just go around through here and just take that all off and um, make very little mess and uh, it's taking very, very, very little material off. So I'm not really terribly concerned about it. I'll tell you what, I'll just go ahead and do it. I'll do one of the chambers right now. Let you see what I'm talking about. Keep me back the camera up there a little bit. Yep. I want to go ahead and say thank you so much to everybody for the likes and the shares and the subscribes. Now up over 2,470 something. It's just crazy. Okay, let's see, let's see if I can make this work. I almost got into the seat, but I didn't. I just barely, almost got it. Let's see. Okay, that's it. So that just that's a basic porting job right there. Um, took some time to get it done, I do realize, but the big benefit is greater flow, greater capacity, and uh, pretty soon I'm going to be lapping in the valves, stuff like that getting this put back together make sure whenever you're going around here into this throat area make sure you can open it up but not too much don't get too aggressive and that's on intake or exhaust don't get too crazy don't get too aggressive because uh, you can get into the seats and that really will ruin everything one thing i'm going to do here is i'm probably going to get me a piece of metal of some sort Probably something kind of thicker, and I'm going to weld it in here. And one other modification, I'm just going to weld that in there because I don't want um, that heat coming from the exhaust in there.
And then one other modification I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to drill these out and tap them for, I think, quarter 20. That's some carbon that come out of that heat crossover port back here. So, chipped it out there and there it is. So, anyway, and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. See how this one, that heat crossover port is complete, almost completely plugged off. I'm going to clean all that out and weld something in that one too. So that way you don't have the heat going into the intake manifold and, you know, screwing anything up. Okay, I thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps out the channel. And I thank you all so much for watching. So, also, I want to say, um, if you got any questions about this or any other videos, Feel free to ask away, and I will definitely help you out. Thank you so much. All right. I think that's about it for this video. I appreciate y'all. Have a great one. God bless.